today we're going to be looking at the CPQ solution for NetSuite and SuiteCommerce. So there's a few aspects of it. One is setting up a configurable item and its options in NetSuite. And then the other is actually configuring products for sale. And with that, there's the ability to create configured items on sales orders in NetSuite. And then there's the CPQ functionality for SuiteCommerce or SuiteCommerce Advanced, works on both. Uh, and that lets your customers configure the item on your SuiteCommerce site straight from the PDP. Finally, this CPQ solution can even be added into advanced entity portals if you're working with that solution. So I'm going to show you a sales order in NetSuite, and we'll look at what it looks like to configure an item on behalf of a client. Maybe you don't have an e-commerce site, or you do, but a customer has called your support team needing to place an order because they're having difficulties with the website. For whatever reason, there's a number of use cases for this, but let's say you're wanting to build the item on the sales order in NetSuite on behalf of your client. So on the sales order in NetSuite, there's this configure items button. I've clicked it and then you'll see there's this pop-up. It shows you every configurable item in NetSuite. This is a configurable item with various options. It will show you every option that is available. So say you're selling blinds. Say we want blinds for the dining room. We want an inside mount. Again, these are drop downs, but it can be anything else. Uh, check boxes, multiple selects, etc. Uh, whatever you want it to be. So depending on what you have set up, it shows you the lower levels of the dependencies. It makes sure that you never select an incorrect combination of products. And I will show you how that works when we look at setting up a configurable item. Once you have all of the different options selected, you can click Add Items and it adds everything to the sales order as separate lines. Now, you might have seen CPQs that add one line with different item options displayed, but the reason that there are separate lines for this solution was because warehouse experts were saying, hey, we want the warehouses to be able to easily pick items and to be able to track inventory at the line level. So by adding each item option as a separate line item on the sales order, this solution makes picking easy for warehouses. And you can make any changes that you want. It allows you to apply discounts based on what you've chosen. It allows you to define separate rates for purchase of this whole kit. And that's essentially the whole NetSuite aspect of it. So next we'll look at what it looks like in SuiteCommerce.